Hey there, Louis here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can find the group ID of a team in Microsoft Teams. And then I'll demonstrate how you can pipe that value in to the action of a workflow in Microsoft Power Automate just to validate that it is in fact the group ID. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to find the team ID or group ID, the first thing that you want to do is navigate to the specific team, and then you want to right click on the specific channel. So I will select this general channel here under the project management office team, and I will click get link to channel. Then you wanna go ahead and copy this value, and I will just open notepad and paste it in here. Now you can actually identify both the group ID for the team and the channel ID to identify that specific channel. Now we'll start off with the group ID. You can see here this value that says group ID equals. So the group identifier is everything up to the ampersand sign that's followed by tenant ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this value. And what I've actually done is just set up a quick flow to demonstrate that these are indeed the correct values. So I'm going to pipe in the value we just copied into this field here that's asking for the team ID. And I'll click off of it and you can see it did not throw an error. Now I'll bring back notepad and to find the channel ID, this time you wanna copy the value that appears after the word channel and forward slash, so I will grab everything up to and including this thread.tacv2. So you wanna go ahead and copy that value. And again, I'm going to now paste that into this field that's asking for the channel ID. And I'll just select custom value and paste it in again. Now I also have a tutorial that demonstrates how you can find the conversation ID or the chat ID of a chat in Microsoft Teams. I've included the link to that tutorial in the description below. And in that tutorial, I follow a similar approach where I'll show you how to find the value and then I'll actually verify that the value is correct by piping it into the action of a workflow in Power Automate. And what I will do now is go ahead and test this. And if I come back into my Microsoft Teams and click into this general channel, you can see here that Power Automate was able to post the message that I just created in that workflow using the group ID of this team and also using the channel ID for this general channel. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can find the group ID of a team in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Ecobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.